I think choice is a really important thing when we reflect on our abilities as leaders, investors and designers for the built environment. We can choose right now to build and design for the long term in ways that will promote the health and well-being of people and communities. Or we can apply business as usual, cheap routes in ways that we know will damage lives and life chances. So that's a choice. I'd say it's a moral imperative. At CISL, we are fortunate to be part of a world-leading university. This brings us access to, of course, cutting-edge expertise from academia, but also, perhaps less well-known, is that it gives us an excellent position to convene expertise from across industry and more widely. On our Built Environment program, we take students from across the different disciplines that contribute to the built environment in terms of what sector students come from on our program. So that could be from finance background, investment background, development background, the traditional uh, design skills, architecture, engineering, planning, specialist consultants, anyone who makes up the design team. Then we have contractors, then we have facilities managers, asset owners, really anyone and everyone on the built environment programs. This course really connects different people from different backgrounds and they are all very talented, amazing people from different disciplines and we're all gathering together here discuss about all these kind of issues and share our knowledges, share our kind of practical experiences and also this kind of important ambitions towards the future city. The best part of studying with CISL is learning about all the different forms of best practice within the built environment and sustainability throughout the world because there's so many different skills, there's so many different levels of expertise. It's been able to learn length and breadth of such a really complicated subject matter. So that's been the best part of it. Our website is amazing. There's so much information out there from what we're doing out in the world to the details of our specific courses. Something I love is our virtual Meet the Directors session where you can start to get a flavour of the personalities of the people who will guide you on your learning journey. But of course we also have our social media platforms and many testimonials and the brochures that you can download yourself. But you must never hesitate to reach out to any of our staff. We've got an amazing team of people and they absolutely love taking the questions and trying to help answer them in as full and open a way as they can. So in terms of financial support, we're really dedicated to helping to provide access to students who need it. So on our website, we have a whole page about different bursaries and scholarships. Some of them are dependent on different programs. Just go to our website, have a look at what's available, and you'll see how to apply. So in terms of the flexibility of what you can study, our programs are designed to allow individuals to find the best path to develop, design, and undertake study that is relevant, important to them. I started the course first as a certificate student and then decided after the first workshop I wanted to do the whole masters. I think just being here, being with the staff, being with all those incredible lecturers and yeah, the program itself is just incredible because it gives you a perspective into different areas in the built environment that me as an architect I wouldn't have had otherwise. So this is really special.